title of this writing is Secrets. Secrets can't help but to be secreted. So said the grasshopper one morning. A common notion is that some people take secrets to the grave with them. Now that may be true, but it does not mean they don't offer them up to you while living. Secrets by their nature fester. They're like a musical piece looking for a resolving chord. Everyone has secrets, and if you pay enough attention to them, their secrets become transparent. There are enough experts on body language to give you plenty of clues as to what to look for, but the clues alone are often not enough. Those methods have you pay attention to the clues, which are helpful, but there is another way to find someone's secret. Give all your attention to them. When you do that, you, in effect, become them, and their secrets are now yours. I don't really know how it works. I only know that I have unearthed secrets that I have no business knowing when I choose to give my full attention to someone, rather than just to their facade. People want to reveal their secrets, but they'll never give them to someone they don't trust. When you give your full attention to someone, you give up your judgments of them and become welcome. This welcoming affords you the opportunity to be present to what's there, not what you think is there. That's when secrets flow between the two of you. I don't know what psychic is, and I've never claimed to be one. I do know this. People's secrets are no longer secret to me when I give up knowing what I know about them, my judgments, and just choose to give them my full attention. It's hard to let go of what you know, but when you do, there's no secret that's unavailable to you. All the best, John.